This is verse 26 of the 19th chapter of the Gospel of John. John is narrating, of course, the drama that's unfolding here at the uh, cross, and he's just informed us of the women who are present, three or four of them. We mentioned that ambiguity in the previous verse. But as Jesus is there and sees these women, we have then John narrating the statement Jesus makes, one of the sayings from the cross, of course. Uh, so we have Jesus, and the nominative Jesus, post-positive un, so Jesus therefore. Idon from uh, Edo, uh, I see is the idea, it's a participle here, it's an aorist participle, uh, so it's in the uh, uh, nominative, singular, masculine, uh, aorist, active participle, so Jesus therefore having seen, uh, denoting time preceding the time of the leading verb, having seen tain, the the accusative feminine, singular article, the matera, the mother, uh, so Jesus having seen the mother, that is his mother, Kai, the connective, tone, mathetain, again the uh, accusative, masculine, singular, mathetes, uh, disciple, the disciple, so he saw the mother, he saw the disciple, and the disciple in the accusative here, Peristota, this is from paristemi. Istemi means to stand, paristemi, to stand near or next to or beside. This is a um, perfect active participle, so having been stand, having stood there and continuing to stand there. It's in the accusative because it's describing the noun that is in the accusative. So we saw the disciple standing near. Uh, and this is the disciple whom, this is a relative pronoun, it's in the accusative, it's the direct object of agapa, the word for love, so the disciple whom he loved. So the idea is Jesus having seen the mother and the disciple uh, whom he loved, uh, having stood there, having been uh, standing there all along is the idea. Of course, it's almost universally taken to be a reference to John, the author of the gospel. Uh, lege, from lego I say, third person singular, present active indicative, he says, te matri, he says, to the mother. Uh, so this is addressed to her, gunai means woman. Some people think this uh, shows a little bit of uh, coldness on Jesus' part, but of course in that culture at that time, this was not uh, cold at all. It was a term of endearment, and we should take it that way. So woman. And then ide, and their interjection means behold or look. Uh, ho, the uh, uh, masculine singular uh, nominative article, the huios, the son, su, the possessive second person pronoun, the son of you or your son. So Jesus, of course, uh, you might say executing his last well and testament here, even as he's hanging on the cross, gives direction that Mary should now regard John uh, as her son. And, of course, he's going to give a collateral uh, instruction to John uh, soon enough. And this becomes a part of Jesus uh, disposing of the human responsibilities he would have even as he's in the process of dying there on the cross.